I would like to see what you have in stock. Nothing more today. I must take my leave. So long. Until next time. May I? Anything else I can do for you? I'm off. Until next. Feels... I need your eyes, my friend. of sex and swords awaits within those walls of stone. I should consult with Basim. He will be nearby. What have you discovered? Bridge where swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Cribbled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan. Go, my eyes. I should be cautious around here. What was an arrow in the dog? <laughs> Oh, God! 
more sailing for these Saxons. No paradise where you're gonna! Have a look, Sunan. I appreciate your efforts to spare the innocent, Eivor. At least we save some lives here. One day, Saxon and Dane, Norse and Briton, will live as brothers and sisters as they do in London. I only wish the path to peace were not paved with so many skulls. We cannot choose the way the world is. Our only choice is how to face it. Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. I cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. 
We took this camp together, so I'll ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. <laughs> I wonder what the old one... Hunwald, this is quite a surprise. Welcome. Yes, I surprised myself for what it's worth. If I cannot be Elderman, I can at least honor my father by acting as one. My lord has sent you the best archers in Lincolnshire, and I am here to lead them. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Honvold. Be ready. Ever my staunch ally, Lufina. Are your men ready? They are. Bows strung and arrows fletched. We will harry the enemy from the flanks to keep them off your back. They will not have a moment's peace from us. I know I can count on you, Luvena. What are friends for? So my Yalskona. You seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Full Kay and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Beerston, I'm glad to see you again. How's your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elorich, he has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope, when hope is all we have. I am sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I'll make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? Vili, you stiff old arstic. How are you? Careful, Eivor. Don't make me thrash your hide as I did when we were children. As I recall, it was you who always finished snot-faced and teary -eyed. Well, it will be Saxons weeping today, after me and my berserkers get hold of them. Do that, and you and I will raise a horn together. I look forward to it. Now, let us find your brother. Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deolov, strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, day or love. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you are welcome here, friend. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin.
Ivar, did you enjoy the gift I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke, but your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone. We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come. Claim your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us, you need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the Skulls say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. So many battles and so few scores passing. What's your secret? I don't need it. Aha! The strategies are the best.
thoroughly. taken him. Is this Sigurd's blood? Sigurd! Every instant of your torment, Fulke will suffer tenfold. The church! Fulke must have taken him there. Come on, Basim! Face us, Feel great. Ugh, this door will need the strength of two. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Uh, brother, brother. I'm here for you. I have you. 
Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. For me, full K, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Wander over at the things I have learned. Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one, an archon, Nephilim, Isu, call him what you will. He is reborn. He's my brother and my Jarl, and your mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Okay! Damn you to hell! Nobody touch her. She is mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave.
has saved your brother. Animals we are. Spit and vomit. Shit and soil. Sigurd is so much more. I gave him that understanding. That gift. You gave him pain! Yes! To awaken him! All that power, all that potential locked away. A god trapped in a prison of bones. Pain was necessary to free him. Me walk. Sigurd. Eivor. I will. I will fight. As a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I will hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the walls! That the last of them. We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Go 
Ithrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uba, until we meet again. There's one more thing. What are you doing still talking to me? Enough goodbyes. Go to Sigurd. Yes. Be well, Uba. <coughs> so, my Alskona, it seems we have won. A great victory. Not even these walls could stand against us. This land will be ours in time. <laughs> what now for you? Uba and I will go west, driving the Saxons before us. Alfred will not hold a crown much longer. I hope one day to see you both there. I would like that. How did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating. <laughs> Reminds me of my younger days. Had you not delayed those reinforcements, we might never have succeeded. You are brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater bravery than that. You look pleased with yourself. Smell that air. Smells like victory. Smells like blood and brains and the soiled underclothes of dead men. Aye. Isn't that what victory smells like? Perhaps to you, our stick. I'll take roasting meat, warm meat, and a fire. Ah, oh, you always were soft. Get on with you. Zuvena, I'm glad to see you made it through. Be proud, Eivor. You found Sigurd. Against the odds. I found his shadow. But I must hope that the scars Fulke has inflicted on his mind will heal. Sigurd is strong. It will take more than pain to break him. You did not see him, Luvina. There was an emptiness in his eyes. I am sorry to hear that. Let us hope for the best. <laughs> we could not have taken this fort without your archers, Hunwalde. My thanks. Oh, it was nothing, you know. All in a day's work. I may need call on them again one day. Ah, was this not the only... Right. Because I was hoping... Well, never mind. Birsten, your ram was invaluable in breaching this fortress. A trifle in comparison to the great service you have rendered me. You will have a good story to tell Alvida upon your return. There is that. But battle is not so thrilling and glamorous as the stories tell. I shall have to spruce it up a little. Back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi! Ranvi will tell you! Oh, yeah. We'll see. 
My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulcate do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war, a Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother... Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all! Today is a day of celebration! Our Jarl is with us! Tonight, let us drink and eat in honor of his return. And now, I will delight you. Ranvi, Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Folke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does, he may be willing to speak. Ranvi, have you spoken with Sigurd yet? Not yet. Soon. Ranvi, have you... No Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly alone with my thoughts. I understand. Don't let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Where is Sigurd gone? Survey the area soon. Oh, look at... Show me. In the cemetery, his mood is dark. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid, unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, 
I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look! This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Something is happening near Volker's hut. Perhaps I should take a look. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Ravensthorpe, an island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. It would be good to rest beneath my dear old tree. I've always found peace there in the past. Good to see you. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. 